Kern County Animal Services has announced a new texting system that will help people who have lost their pets. 23 ABC's Daniela Garrido joins us live in studio with a look at the resources it provides. Daniela? Losing a pet can be difficult. Kern County Animal Services wants to make sure you know every possible way to get your loved one back home. I spoke with a family who is using the new texting system during their hard time. It's like my kid, you know, it's so hard, very hard. I, words are not enough to explain what I'm feeling right now. Kilo, a red-nosed pit bull, has been missing from his home since Sunday afternoon in southwest Bakersfield. Miles from where he went missing, his owners were searching the Kern County Animal Shelter Tuesday morning in hopes someone had found him. I'm making some list of uh, animal shelters where we, I can visit and check. When people lose an animal, um, they're like family members. And sometimes um, it's, it's hard to determine what the next steps are. The new text to home service allows pet owners to text the word lost to 555-888 for resources during their search. So some of the text messages you receive are, um, you know, a, a link uh, on your phone to get you right to our webpage to fill out a lost pet form with a description of your animal that comes directly to us. And then uh, we have some volunteers that will um, look at some of those pets and see if they're, they're in the shelter. I mean, we can't guarantee that we'll find your pet, but we always make the best effort. Some of the other text messages you, you'll find, um, you'll get a text message with links to all of our animals that are currently in our shelter. It's updated hourly. Um, you'll get links to other shelters in the area that have uh, those lost pets on their website, City of Bakersfield and the SPCA. The program is funded by an innovation grant from the Petco Foundation in Sacramento and has minimal cost to the Kern County Animal Services Department. About 5,000 pets were adopted last year, um, another probably 1,500 or so that were returned to the field, stray feral cats, and probably another 2,500 that were picked up by rescue organizations in the area. So a lot of animals leaving here, um, not with their former owners, which is, which is it's a problem. And that's what this program is hopefully going to fix. For more information on the new texting service and how you can help find your pet or your neighbor's pet, visit our website, turn to 23com Live in studio, I'm Danielle Garrido, 23 ABC News, connecting you.